Imagine a teenage boy, barely 14 years old, riding a massive elephant into a critical battle that would decide the fate of his fledgling empire. This wasn't a scene from a fantasy novel. It was the reality for Akbar, the Mughal emperor whose reign continues to spark debate and fascination centuries later. Akbar wasn't born with a silver spoon, but rather into the crucible of war and exile. Son of a nomadic prince, he inherited a vast, yet precarious, Mughal Empire in 1556. Stretching from the fertile plains of Punjab to the arid landscapes of Afghanistan, this dominion encompassed a dazzling array of religions, ethnicities, and cultures. However, the empire was far from unified. Rebellions simmered on the edges, and deep religious divides threatened to tear it apart. Akbar, a young man thrust onto the world stage, faced a monumental challenge. Forge a cohesive empire from this diverse tapestry, or watch it crumble. This video delves into the captivating complexities of Akbar's reign. We'll navigate the battlefield strategies that secured his dominion, but also explore the groundbreaking policies of religious tolerance that set him apart from other rulers of his time. We'll sift through the layers of history, separating fact from fiction, to understand the man behind the myth. Akbar's legacy is a multifaceted gem, sparkling with brilliance but also harboring contradictions. Join us as we embark on a journey to decode this enigmatic emperor, his revolutionary ideas, and the lasting impact he left on the Indian subcontinent. Akbar's life began amidst the chaos of war and exile. Born in 1542 at the remote fort of Umarkit in present-day Pakistan, his childhood was a far cry from the opulent palaces of later Mughal emperors. His father, Humayun, was constantly battling rivals for control of the Mughal throne, forcing Akbar and his family into a nomadic existence. This early experience instilled in him a deep understanding of hardship and the importance of resilience. Imagine a young Akbar, barely a toddler, jolted awake by the frantic shouts of his family fleeing an advancing enemy. This constant upheaval shaped his personality, making him adaptable and resourceful. Education was a luxury Akbar couldn't afford. He received limited formal schooling, but his upbringing exposed him to diverse cultures and languages, laying the groundwork for his future tolerance. Akbar's teenage years were marked by a series of crucial battles that solidified his claim to the throne. The Second Battle of Panipat 1556 At just 13 years old, Akbar, under the guidance of his regent Bairam Khan, faced a numerically superior Afghan force. His courageous leadership and strategic use of Mughal artillery secured a decisive victory, establishing him as the Mughal Emperor. The siege of Agra 1556 Shortly after Panipat, Akbar had to reclaim the Mughal capital of Agra from rebels. This swift action demonstrated his determination and military prowess. The Battle of Sambal and the Battle of Chider 1567-1568 solidified Mughal control over North India. While some view the capture of Chider as a ruthless act, it's important too. Understand the context of constant rebellions and the strategic importance of the fort. Two important individuals played a key role in Akbar's childhood. Firstly, Bairam Khan, a seasoned military leader and statesman, Bairam Khan served as Akbar's regent during his formative years. He played a crucial role in consolidating Mughal power, but their relationship became strained as Akbar asserted his independence. Secondly, Maham Anga, Akbar's wet nurse, wielded considerable influence in the royal court. While some portray her as a power-hungry manipulator, she likely acted as a source of stability and emotional support for the young emperor. Akbar's reign marked a dramatic shift in Mughal policy. He championed the revolutionary concept of Salai Kul, universal peace, fostering tolerance and respect for all religions within his vast empire. This move, far ahead of its time, had a profound impact on the social and cultural landscape of India. A major step towards religious equality was the abolition of the jizya, a tax levied on non-Muslims. This act not only eased the financial burden on Hindu subjects, but also sent a powerful message of inclusivity. Akbar shattered the traditional Muslim dominance in the Mughal court by appointing talented individuals based on merit, regardless of their faith. Hindus held prominent positions, fostering a sense of partnership and governance. Akbar's own curiosity and thirst for knowledge extended beyond the political realm. 
He was deeply fascinated by diverse religious philosophies, including Hinduism, Jainism, Zoroastrianism, and even Christianity. This fascination manifested in the creation of the Ibadat Khana, House of Worship. This unique institution served as a platform for scholars from various religions to engage in open discussions and debates. Imagine a lively intellectual space where Muslim Sufis debated with Hindu pundits, fostering understanding and challenging religious dogma. The spirit of tolerance permeated the artistic realm as well. Mughal miniature paintings under Akbar's reign showcased a mesmerizing blend of Hindu and Persian styles. Floral motifs and vibrant colors traditionally associated with Hindu art found their way into the courtly portraits, reflecting the harmonious coexistence of cultures. Akbar's vision for a unified empire extended beyond religious tolerance. He implemented social reforms aimed at improving the lives of his subjects. Some key initiatives included banning of Sadi, discouraging child marriage, and the Anayak Bari administration of Akbar. Sadi, this barbaric practice of forcing widows to immolate themselves on their husband's funeral pyre was outlawed. This progressive step demonstrated Akbar's commitment to protecting women's rights and banning it completely. While not completely banned, Akbar discouraged the social evil of child marriage. Recognizing its detrimental effects on young girls' health and education, the Ain Ayakbari was this meticulously compiled document served as a comprehensive record of the empire's administration, land revenue system, and social customs. The Ain Ayakbari ensured fair taxation and streamlined governance. In the later years, Akbar's reign wasn't solely defined by religious tolerance. He was also a skilled military strategist who expanded the Mughal Empire's reach significantly. The Deccan Plateau in southern India posed a constant challenge. Akbar embarked on a series of expeditions, securing victories against local rulers, and strategically utilizing alliances to establish Mughal dominance in the region. He also secured the strategically important regions of Kabul and Kashmir through a combination of military campaigns and diplomatic negotiations. Then came in the Din i Ilahi, a controversial experiment. Akbar's quest for religious harmony took a unique turn with the creation of the Din i Ilahi divine faith in the latter part of his reign. This eclectic blend of elements from Islam, Hinduism, Zoroastrianism, and Jainism aimed to transcend religious differences and foster unity within the empire. The Din i Ilahi emphasized reason, tolerance, and loyalty to the emperor. However, it lacked a set of codified beliefs or rituals, making it difficult for a large-scale following to develop. Historians debate the true motivation behind the Din i Ilahi. While some see it as a sincere attempt to create a unifying religion, others view it as a way to further consolidate Akbar's own power. Ultimately, the Din i Ilahi failed to gain widespread acceptance, and most of Akbar's subjects remained loyal to their traditional faiths. Akbar's personal life wasn't without its challenges. His relationship with his eldest son, Salim later Jahangir, grew increasingly strained. Possible reasons for this may be because Akbar's focus on religious tolerance and social reforms may have clashed with Salim's more conservative and hedonistic tendencies, or with no clear heir apparent. Competition for the throne could have fueled tension between father and son. Salim rebelled against Akbar towards the end of his rule showing that the empire wasn't as united as it seemed. Although Salem's rebellion didn't succeed, it revealed a weakness in the empire. After Akbar died, the Mughal court became more divided and less accepting, causing problems for the empire. Akbar's reign wasn't just a defining chapter in Mughal history. It left an indelible mark on the Indian subcontinent. His legacy extends far beyond the political sphere, encompassing breathtaking architecture a flourishing economy, and a lasting influence on popular culture. Akbar's vision for a unified empire found expression in the magnificent monuments that dot the Indian landscape. Fatefer Sikri, a grand city, built entirely of red sandstone, and meticulously planned by Akbar himself, served as the Mughal capital for a brief period. Fatefer Sikri's architectural style is a dazzling blend of Hindu, Islamic, and even Jain influences. With towering gateways, intricate latticework, and beautifully proportioned buildings. The Bulan Darvaza, one of the world's tallest gateways, 
stands as a testament to Akbar's ambition and architectural prowess. Agra Fort, this imposing fort, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, was further embellished under Akbar's reign. He commissioned the construction of the Jahangiri Mahal, a palace that seamlessly combines Mughal and Rajput architectural elements, showcasing the emperor's commitment to artistic fusion. Akbar's reign ushered in a period of economic prosperity. He implemented several key policies that stimulated trade and agriculture. Akbar invested in building and maintaining a network of roads and canals, facilitating the movement of goods and people across the vast empire. He introduced a uniform system of weights and measurements, streamlining trade and eliminating confusion. Akbar's administration implemented reforms to improve agricultural practices, leading to increased crop yields and a more stable food supply. These initiatives, combined with the peaceful environment, led to a flourishing of trade with neighboring regions and beyond. The Mughal Empire under Akbar became a major hub for commerce, attracting merchants from Europe, Central Asia, and the Middle East. Akbar's life and legacy have captured the imagination for centuries. He has been portrayed in various forms of literature, movies, and television shows. Akbar finds mention in the epic poem Ain I Akbari, a detailed chronicle of his reign commissioned by the emperor himself. He is also a prominent figure in the Mughal histories written during and after his time. Akbar's life has been the subject of numerous Bollywood films, such as Mughal e Azam and Jada Akbar, often portraying him as a benevolent and tolerant ruler. These portrayals, while entertaining, sometimes take liberties with historical accuracy. More recent television series have attempted to offer a more nuanced portrayal of Akbar, highlighting the complexities of his reign and the challenges he faced. The way Akbar is depicted in popular culture reflects the ongoing fascination with his life and the desire to understand his enduring legacy. Akbar's reign wasn't without its flaws. However, his vision for a unified and tolerant empire continues to inspire and resonate across generations. Akbar's reign stands as a beacon in the annals of Indian history. His legacy is a multifaceted gem, sparkling with brilliance in its embrace of religious tolerance innovative administrative reforms, and flourishing cultural contributions. His policy of Salaikal Universal Peace stands out as a revolutionary concept in a world rife with religious strife. His abolition of the jizya tax, inclusion of Hindus in his court, and respect for diverse faiths fostered a sense of unity within the vast Mughal Empire. Akbar was a visionary leader who recognized the importance of strong governance. His codification of laws with the Ain Akbari, standardization of weights and measures, and focus on infrastructure development laid the foundation for a prosperous and stable empire. Akbar's reign witnessed a vibrant exchange of ideas and artistic expressions. Mughal architecture under him seamlessly blended Hindu, Islamic, and Central Asian styles. While his patronage of diverse religious scholars and artists enriched the cultural landscape of India, Akbar's legacy, however, is not without its complexities. Historians continue to debate the true nature of his religious tolerance. Was he a genuinely enlightened ruler, or did his policies serve a more pragmatic purpose of solidifying his own power? As we ponder Akbar's legacy, a thought-provoking question lingers. How did his vision of a unified and tolerant empire shape the trajectory of Indian history? Did it pave the way for a more inclusive society, or were the seeds of future religious discord sown during his reign? The answers remain open to interpretation, inviting us to delve deeper into the fascinating life and times of this enigmatic emperor. Akbar's legacy continues to spark debate, inspire awe, and offer valuable lessons on leadership, tolerance, and the enduring power of cultural exchange. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. This has been the History Guy. Until next time.